Dear Lord God, we just thank you for waking with us each morning and being there for us, even when we forget you. Lord, instead of us going to our phones first to check out data and different things on the internet, let us first check in with you. And Lord, if for those who know you, I pray that we would put on our armor of God before stepping out into the day. And we just thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome, everyone, to our prayer journey. These daily devotionals are meant to encourage and to lead people to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and share it. And you can hit the notification bell as well, so you know every time I put up a video, and Lord willing, I will be doing that daily. Today's verse is this, Hebrews 10, 22 and 23. And listen to what this verse said. So, let us draw near with a true heart, in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from our evil conscience, and I'll go over that later, and our bodies washed with the poor, <laughs> pure water. Let us hold fast, and that's the word of God, the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. When I first got saved, it I felt the sin burden just roll off of me. And all the confusion that I had, it was like in the book Pilgrim Progress where he put down that load. It was all gone, and now I was excited. <clears throat> I wanted to tell everybody about Jesus Christ, and I went about doing that. And from so much rejection and people thinking that I was brainwashed or in a cult, which I wasn't even in with a group, I was saved by myself, going out telling people about Jesus. But I didn't understand how to do that. I was a babe in the Word of God. And over time, that war on me broke me down, stopped me from going out and professing my faith to other people. And then what did I do? I built up the word of God in which I was able to overcome my fear for a given period of time. This is one of the reasons you need to be in the word of God. And if you can find yourself a good church, a good church, and check, check them by the word of God, make sure what they're telling you is in the word of God and is true. When you have that, you'll be equipped to go out and give an, a, a, an answer to everyone that asks you about the faith. But don't give up. And that's what this is here for in verse uh, Hebrews 10, 22. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith. We know we're saved. We know we got rid of the burden. What are you, what's holding you back? Having our hearts sprinkled from our evil consciences. And what does that mean with the evil conscience? This is what I think. This is my opinion. My opinion is this. Sometimes we come in a crossroads and we don't know what's right or wrong. And maybe the Word of God doesn't cover it right. So the sprinkling is the blood that they would throw on the altar to cover the sins. So we sprinkle with the blood of Christ and we ask him, Lord Jesus, what is the right thing? What is the right thing for me to do? And it makes a big difference, and I'll tell you why. You, I'm not going to go into issues, but you get the issue of abortion. If you look at it in the terms of God's eyes on your own, you will be able to figure it out. I'm not going to tell you the answer, even though I think I know what the answer is. God will tell you. And when God tells you, you can make the right turn. It's like a GPS system when you're driving. You know, your conscience only could take you so far. You, If you know if it's a left turn or a right turn you got to make, you can make the turn. But if you don't know, you're going to guess. And I'll tell you, when it comes to directions, if I don't have a GPS or if I don't have a map, I make the wrong decision every single time I get lost. So, with full assurance, come to God. Be washed in the letter of his word. Get washed in the word of God and let your profession be in Jesus Christ. Just go look at these verses in Hebrews 10, 22 and 23. You will not waver in your faith if you keep trusting and checking out God. So until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.